These three examples are also related to each other. They're similar in that they all have a 6, an addition, an 8, a division, and a 2. All three of them have those appearing in the same order. There are different problems, though. In the first, in the first problem, we're told to do the 6 plus 8 first, and that thing is divided by 2. So let's do that. 6 plus 8, right there, is 14. So I have 14 divided by 2. And you can tell that that's going to be 7 for an answer. In the second case, I have the 8 divided by 2 in parentheses. So the problem should be thought of as 6 plus that. And what is that? Well, that's easy to do in your head also. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So this thing right here is 4. And I have 6 plus 4. And you can tell that 6 plus 4 is 10. This third example has no parentheses, so the rules for the order of operations tell me to do the division first before the addition and subtraction. So I, I again think of this as 6 plus 8 divided by 2. This gets done first. So this is just like the previous case. 6 plus 8 divided by 2 is the same as 6 plus 4, or 10. In the absence of parentheses, the division gets done first, so it's just as if there were parentheses right there around the division part, just like the example above. And a couple more examples here. 20 divided by 4 times 5. Well, what should we do here? Notice that the 4 times 5, those two numbers look a little bit closer together on the page than the 20 divided by 4. That doesn't matter. Don't let that trick you. Don't think that the 4 and the 5 are more closely related just because they're closer together on the page than the 20 and the 4. We need to follow the rules. And the rules say that multiplication and division are done before addition and subtraction. And they're done left to right. So I need to do 20 divided by 4 and then multiply by 5. So this is as if we had parentheses right here. I go left to right. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So this is the same as 5 times 5, which is 25. The same thing happens here when I do this division and that multiplication. I'm not ready to do, to do that just yet, though, because I see this exponent here, and I see this multiplication. I know I'm going to have to do the exponent first, and then I'll do the multiplication and division, left to right, so that division first. And then, after all that's done, uh, then I subtract. So let's do that. Let's rewrite the problem. I'm just going to say 40 divided by 2 times 5 minus 3 times, and I'll do this. That 5 squared is a 25. 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. So now the exponents are done. I'm going to rewrite it again, and I'm going to do the multiplication and division left to right. So right here, I do the 40 divided by 2, and then I multiply that by 5. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So this is 20 times 5 minus 3 times 25. So basically, again, I've rewritten this problem to look like that, but I've just done the 40 divided by 2 to get that 20. Now, 20 times 5 is 100, and before I do this subtraction, I need to do this. 3 times 25 is 75, and 100 minus 75 is 25. So I've evaluated this expression using the rules for the order of operations. Exponents first, then multiplication and division left to right, and then addition and subtraction left to right.